Welcome to Dry Conclusion. <laughs> it's time to talk about the show we saw. Do, do, do. <laughs> Hi, we are reviewing today the Rise of Skywalker, episode nine of the Final Star Wars. Yeah. In the series Movies. of nine. So, what can we say about this the movie, The trilogy Josh? of trilogies. We're going to try really hard to not give anything away about the movie, but it's going to be really hard to talk about it without, say, without there might, giving anything away yeah, about the movie. Th- there might be some spoilers. No, I'm I hope more, not. It's, this is an anti-spoiler trailer, but I'm just saying it might be short because I don't know how to talk about this movie without talking about all the amazing things that happened in it. So, yeah. Josh, what did you think of this movie? Uh, I loved it. I, okay. I really End did. End of review. Just kidding. I, <laughs> I hated it. No. I enjoyed this movie. I, I had heard some negative reviews. I hadn't heard of I didn't hear them or read them. I heard that there were some. And I, I heard the Rotten Tomatoes score. Right. And I was like, oh, jeez. So I was kind of, for a little bit, kind of looking for um, maybe why it was getting poor reviews or not great reviews. Right. And... Probably within the first 10 minutes, I think I forgot all about that <laughs> and was totally into it. Yeah. I liked it a lot. I mean, I mean to each his own, those who didn't like it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel bad that you went and saw a movie you didn't enjoy. But I loved it. I thought it was really cool visually. I mean, it's just on point. Just right. like all other Star Wars shows. And I think there might have been some stuff with the cinematography and stuff that I really didn't see in other show. I mean, other uh, the other movies, right? In the series and the saga, and they had some really cool things that uh, were kind of new and fresh. And I, I think I like this one. It wasn't like any of the other ones, right? It seemed very different. Like you can draw parallels with like some of the other movies, like because like uh, Star Wars does kind of work very you know circular kind of thing, right? Like, a lot of mirroring. This one. It, it didn't have that. It felt like very much its own thing. It's interesting because people totally straight up were like, oh, it's just a Return of the Jedi no, retread. Return of the Jedi was more like um, uh, Revenge of the Sith was more like Re- Return of the Jedi. The Phantom Menace, well, the Phantom Menace was more like Return of the Jedi also. That was actually the one that was really more like it. Revenge of the Sith had some moments that were similar to uh, Return of the Jedi what with... Uh, Anakin confronting Dooku at the be, you know in the beginning with uh, the Emperor or you know back then yeah, Chancellor well, Palpatine. I mean, I can see what people said that, but I'm just like you know it didn't it's seem not, like it. It's not even close. I mean, no. so anyway, I love this movie too. I was afraid that I wasn't going to like it. I got right. very nervous in the last couple of days that it, I wasn't going to enjoy this movie. Um, I did also you know saw the Rotten Tomatoes score and I read a couple of reviews of it, um, and I was like. Ugh. How am I going to like this? I'm really nervous. What if this right. ruins the whole thing? So I know that there are a lot of people, a lot of people who complained about The Force Awakens, and there were a lot, a lot, a lot of people that Many complained people. about The Last Jedi. Yep. And um, we're not those people. We liked both of those movies a lot, and yeah, we've watched much. them several times. Um, Own both of them. <laughs> and I actually have a very firm rebuke for anyone who wants to tell me that they don't like Luke and what they did with him in uh, The Last Jedi. We can talk about that later, though. But um, <laughs> so, but I was afraid. I was like, oh, no, maybe this is the movie that is going to ruin, it all. ruin this trilogy for me, and I'm not going to like it. No, this was wonderful. I absolutely loved it. I love the way that they wrapped up the story. I love the choices that they made. I love all the nostalgia that it made me feel. Mm-hmm. I just... I, you know, this is the thing. It's no, by no means a perfect movie. If you're talking about just straight up, like, you know, looking at it really, really, really critically, like what makes a fantastic, you know, film? Like, is this the best script I've ever read? Is this the most well-constructed story? No, I mean, it definitely has its flaws. Um, but who cares about, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like all of the good stuff about it completely outweighs anything about, its flaws for me, like to the point where I don't even want to be critical of it at all because none of that stuff matters. It's not like it's poorly written or poorly constructed, but yeah, I can see where, you know, they could have done a few things differently to make it a little bit 
Sure. You know, well, better. But this is the thing that I, I have said a lot, and I think you have too, is like, I, I these are just movies. Right. This is not high art. This is not Shakespeare. It's, you know, these are fun movies. Right. Meant to be entertaining, a little thought-provoking, and, you know, even some of them do more of that than others. Right. And um, that's that's what they are. That's all they're intended to be, to, like, you know, entertain and dazzle. And I so for that, I, I think it succeeds. I just think people make more out of these things than that they ought to be. Well, I think, you know, people have strong attachments to sure. Star Wars, you know. And, but we well, do, absolutely. too. We, yeah, like, right. we get that. Like, <laughs> I absolutely get that. You when know? you're sitting in the theater and as soon as... You hear the music start playing, and mm-hmm. you see the Star Wars logo and logo the come on. Yeah, I mean, like immediately <laughs> we just you turned to me and you said, "I love Star Wars," right? Yeah. Because it just it just gives you this feeling, like it just takes you to this place. And so, to me, that's what that's what art is supposed to do. I mean, art's supposed to do a lot of different things, but right. one of the things it's supposed to do is connect you with a feeling. And for me. This movie hit all of the emotional notes that I wanted to hit. And I, I felt yeah. very engaged emotionally in what was going on. I felt very invested in the characters mm-hmm. and the outcome. And I I was very moved and touched by what happened in the movie. So yeah. for me, it was like totally just like this beautiful, nice little bow on this, you know, nine movie long Skywalker story. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I just, I really loved it. I thought uh, it was super fun, really fun, and it had a lot of good humor, had a lot of touching moments, and you know gave you other things to think about. And you know, again, like you said, it's not perfect, but it's like, which of the other shows was perfect? Right. You know. No, that's the thing. It's like people have such this like nostalgia bubble. Yeah. About Star Wars, Wars is they can't goggles. admit that there were flaws in these other movies. They act like they are like the best movies ever made. They might be your favorite. That's okay. Absolutely. Something can be your favorite movie without it being like the, the best, best movie. most high art thing. That's totally legitimate. Well, sure. Like the original movie is my favorite movie of all time. I've right. watched that like, geez, I don't know how many times I couldn't really think about to count it. But it's like, does it have its moments where it's like, okay, that's kind of funky, but I don't care. Where like the dialogue's maybe a little clunky or something. Right. Or... But it doesn't matter because the characters in the show right. are so fun right. and great. And that, that's what I love. And I think these characters are just as great. Yeah, I love as, I love the new characters. Yeah. I always have. Finn, Poe, Ray. I, I like all of them. I like the side characters. I like they brought back some of the old ones. Yeah. And they gave a nice farewell to the old one, the other old ones, the old right. main characters. Right. And I think that's fantastic. And it, it didn't feel like, I don't know, I just didn't feel like they were just kind of shoving them out the door. I think they got their due. And right. It was... Well, and I really, I really like Kylo Ren's story arc over the course of the three movies. I, I really love what they ended up doing with this character, and I was yeah. afraid that I wasn't going to like it. And they actually made some choices that I was hoping that they wouldn't make. But the, but then when I saw it actually come to fruition, I loved it. Um, right. And I, I really like the the new things that we learned about the characters, the the in this movie, the main characters and um and the development we saw in them, you know, Poe stepping more so into this leadership being forced role, to having yeah. to step into this leadership role more so. Um Finn and um some I almost said what what you learned about him, but like some things you learned about him during the course of this movie. Right. You know, and then Ray, of course, you know, this journey of hers is Coming to a completion. And, yeah, I and, I love what they ended up doing with it. And I hope they they do more right. with these characters. I mean, they, you know, they may not. They might not want to do any more, but... Probably will, a lot of it will depend on how people react to this movie. <laughs> well, Unfortunately. Well, but, I, I do think there's a segment of the uh, Star Wars fandom that do like these movies. Oh, yeah. And, I think, I think so far the audience score I just saw, saw has been really positive. And so hmm. I think most people like it. There are just these people that... Right. The loud voices, uh, you know, they right. get the most attention. 
Well, and I, some people like... just want to be negative and just want to be haters, and that's fine. You just are, like, sad and pathetic. Look, <laughs> I'm not talking about people who legitimately have real gripes against the movie. Everybody has different opinions about movies. Everybody likes sure. different things in Art films. Art does different things to right. different people. So, yeah. like, I, I'm not talking about that. Like, if you have legitimate reasons why you don't, and valid reasons, but there are these people who just kind of delight in getting online and, like, Throwing stink bombs, right? Yeah. In in the comments and stirring crap up. Yeah, and, they troll. You know, so, right. And it's hard to know how many of those... I mean, like, how many of these trolls even care about Star Wars, really? Or they're just there to, like, rile people up and get them upset? Right. It's hard to know. It's impossible to know, actually. No one can ever know what's inside the troll's head. <laughs> we don't have the technology. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um... Yeah, I liked some of the the new characters that they introduced in this movie. I so I thought some um, some of them were very interesting. I thought they could do some interesting things with them. Yeah, down the road. And again, I I hope they uh, they wrap everything up pretty nice. Yeah, but they kind of leave some things open ended to where like they could go elsewhere right. in other you know other formats like right. other mediums like a television show. They kind of laid down books. these threads where the story could like the story could Branch break out. off in multiple directions, yeah. which is. What what should happen? Like, if you really love Star Wars, you should want to see it breaking away and branching away from these this main you core know group core of group people. of. You want to see things like the Mandalorian or some of the things that they've done in the books or the video games, right? You want to mm-hmm. see other stories or things that they're planning on doing, you um, know, which I'm interested in that as well. With yeah, the, I mean they have an Obi Wan Kenobi television series oh, I'm so coming excited. up. I know. I mean, Luna McGregor is going to be Obi Wan again. Awesome, right? So, so yeah, you should want to see. I mean, it's this vast universe that they have. You know, Star Wars universe on right. so many different worlds. Although they keep blowing things up, <laughs> but <laughs> stop blowing up all the planets. I know you don't have anything left. Come on. <laughs> anyway, but so, just so many things that they can explore and go do. I mean, I think to me, this one, this movie, to me, felt the most Star Warsy. You know, if you use that kind of term. More so than the other two did. Hmm. You know, I, I love the other two. I've watched them many, many times. This one just felt like, yeah, this this is, it, it feels like Star Wars to me. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I was like, in the beginning, I was really caught up in my head and just like, am I going to like this? Am I going to like this? Because especially knowing that we would have to come and review it. Yeah. You know, I was just being, I was having a hard time just getting settled in but once it got to a certain point in the movie i just stopped worrying about all that stuff and i just was very um in love with what i was seeing and hearing and um and i'm really anxious to see it again when i have been able to put this reviewer hat away (laughs) behind me right yeah and and now that i know how it ends that i don't have to worry about whether or not i'm gonna like how it ends i did i do i really like how they ended it i love it a lot um, and so I'm looking forward to seeing it again without any of those weird constraints that I had right. on me this time and just being able to really enjoy it and soak it all in. And plus, I just feel like there are a lot of things I want to see again. I want to hear yeah, again. There's, there's so much stuff in this. I mean, they packed a lot in the two and a half hours. I mean, honestly, it didn't feel that long. No. I mean, it was, it was well paced, not boring. Right. And just like from the opening crawl... You know, credits or not credits, but the uh, the title and all that. Right. It just takes off and doesn't really stop. It just right. goes, and it's great. I mean, that's kind of what you want to have happen. I mean, there were some moments of you know pause and consideration, but then like it always led to something else, and so I just you know nothing really stood still. Right. Well, I re- we really loved it. Mm-hmm. Um. Josh, why don't you tell us about this painting that you did to go with our review? Well, uh, I really wanted to capture the main three characters and do them justice in Poe, Ray, and Finn. And, you know, trying to find some of the locales and things. Um, and, of course, Kylo Ren and his knights, they had some really strong images online. I wanted to put those on there as well. And so I, I try not to read anything in fact I, I really don't read anything about movies before we go see them right. i like to go into them completely open-minded i don't like spoilers or anything like that right um before the show's coming out i don't like to speculate or talk about it or anything like that i watch the trailers a handful of times anyway so in scouring the images that are available um i thought these would make a really nice composition and 
I think it uh, has worked. Yeah, I, I really like it. I love it. In fact, I normally we try to sell Josh's artwork, but I think we might, might keep, keep this, this one. one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really like this one. I'm happy with how it's turned out. Um, and it was a lot of fun to work on. I wasn't sure if I could do this in time, but, you know, by the time the show came out, but I was able to pull it off. And I'm glad of that. Right. So, but I had a lot of fun drawing it and uh, painting it and it's multimedia stuff. So right. mixed media, I guess that's the word. Right. Anyway, really enjoyed the movie and I just wanted to do it justice. So I'm glad it turned out well. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Josh, what should they do now? Well, if you haven't done so already, hit the notification bell to get uh, notified when we have new videos out. Right. Hit the subscribe button. We always love that. Always love the subscribers. <laughs> um, leave us a comment. You know, tell us what you think. You know, love or hate it. You know, that kind of thing. Maybe we're dead wrong. Maybe we're totally right. Um, or, or maybe there's no right or wrong. It's just whatever your opinion is. Yeah, share your opinion. We like yeah. to hear about that. Yeah, and <laughs> and even if your opinion is wrong, we'll st- <laughs> we still want you to share it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just totally contrary to what I said about no wrong opinions, but. That's right. Anyway. <laughs> You're contradictory. You're deceptive. I am. That's uh, true. Anyway, and also share this with others on other social media platforms. All right. Thanks.